Yes, you know, I feel like you know, the first time when I met my boyfriend's mother and when I met the sisters, I was supposed to go like this. I was supposed to go wearing a duke. Mm. Some things you may never know up until it's late. That's true. <laughs> Sanbonani guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your wonderful, your favorite lady, Lady T. And welcome back to my beautiful channel. Welcome back, Bathrobo. Welcome back, Bathali, to my YouTube channel. So guys, disclaimer, I've decided to dedicate the month of January to story story times. And yeah, so it's going to be story story times, January. And I promised that 2023, I'm going to be up close and personal on my story story times so basically um in my entire youtube channel i've never spoken about my relationship lest you guys were thinking that i'm single no but i finally decided to open up on that and yeah so basically guys the first time oh today's story story time is going to be about the first time i met my boyfriend's family okay so this is this is how everything happened ne? it wasn't like a, a plan up okay i can say it was a plan up i don't know it was a semi plan up meet up but yeah hopefully you get what i'm hopefully you get what i'm trying to explain so this is what happened ne? the first time when i met the family it was actually the uncle that i met the sister and the other two sisters that's the first time when i met his family that's the first family that i met the first part of the family and then the second time i met his little sister and then the third time i met the mother so basically i felt i met the family like on three different occasions right and at three different places and then the fourth time i also met so i basically met the family like four different times so yeah okay basically ne? i'm going to i'm not going to be mentioning names lest they watch this video they'll be like hey talk about did you include our names so i'm not going to be mentioning any names so basically guys story story time the first time when i met the the first time when i actually met the the uncles so this is what was happening ne? it was in 2021 so it was in september i remember very well it was in september because i was still a uh, i was still selling by my mother's shop in johannesburg south africa yeah so basically it was i think it wasn't a like it wasn't a planned meetup it happened that i saw them that okay it didn't happen that i saw them that day but they were driving past okay guys it's just complicated but let me explain what happened so i don't know why this guy did this thing. so basically he chose guys like they're different there are many roads in tarfontaine like literally there are many roads in tarfontaine but he decided to drive through the road whereby my mother's shop is and then he passed by the drive he drove through that shop he drove through there he drove through the he drove using that road knowing very well what my girl is going to be there because why i'm born that day in the morning and didn't even tell me or warn me what i'm going to drive past and we're going to stop and i'm going to show you my uncles and everything okay fine now one more guy i see the car okay obviously i knew the car so i see the car he parked and he opens the window and then instead of like instead of just driving past like what normal people would do he opens the window he parks and then he doesn't even go out and then he's like t obviously i saw obviously because you called me right so i went to the car and then i stayed there i was i was just standing and then i'm wondering okay like who are those people remember i'd never seen them before so i'm wondering okay like who are those people and then i see there is a malume sitting like on the passenger seat at the back their sisters and everything their ladies like ladies like, at the back and then um he's like t this is my uncle at the back these are my sisters and in my heart i'm like okay brah like literally why did you do this like like why didn't you want me or tell me give me a heads up and then to the family then the, to the family he's like okay this is t a hey, this is t i won't like i won't say who to watch this is t who but he was like this is t and then the the the, the, the family they're like oh okay that's nice like we're pleased to know you and pleased to see you and then the uncle who was sitting in front he was like okay i see that you are selling that's nice how is business and i was like hi business is good and then there i was guys just standing and i don't know what to do should i smile should i laugh should i just be serious you and then and then i was like okay t um we're going we're going somewhere because they were heading somewhere and then like okay t we're going somewhere i just wanted i just wanted to show you my 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 uncle and everything i just i just wanted to show you my my family but i'll come back and see you late shoo guys like that was the longest i think there's like the car parked for just 10 minutes but that was the longest 10 minutes of my life because like i'm just standing there i'm just wondering okay like why did this guy choose to use this road that's the first question and why didn't he want me give me a heads up like how do you just boom they are the people like literally guys anyway they drove by they went 
second meter. And then when he came back, I asked him, okay, Mokai, why did you do that? Like literally, why did you, why did you choose to use this rod? Why did you choose to to like do all that drama? Like couldn't you have given me a heads up and be like, that walk, I'm going to come pass by with my uncle and my sisters. I'm going to show you. Like why didn't you tell me? Like why just boom, surprise me? And then he laughed, was like, haha, you know that I'm full of surprises. Guys, guys this guy mm -hmm. anyway second meetup it was when i met the little sister so basically he called me he was like at the we we're outside your house can you please come out i'm with my younger sister so basically when i came out i knew who he is with the younger sister so when i came out the younger sister was sitting at the back so when i came out i got into the car um I greeted the younger sister. We we greeted each other. Hey, I'm Tabaka. And she told me the name. Okay, fine. Nice meeting. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. And then fine. Should they went away. Okay, fine. That's when I met the the younger sister. Everything was just fine, proper, and everything. Okay, third time. That's when I met the I met the ma. Was it ah, the third time I met the? Okay, the third time. This is what happened. The third time. It was in March. And I was I was in Feb and I was not preparing for, 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 for coming to Austria, right? So it was in February and then the, the sister, the big sister, the older sister was at was like the older sister and the younger sister and this younger bigger sister's daughter and they were like the whole family was just at a certain place so they'd gone there. So basically um they they called him and then he was like, okay, fine, I'm going to come, but I'm going to come with the walk. Okay, fine, no problem. So let me there, I was inside the house. In fact, now I knew where I was going, and I, now I knew who I was going to meet, right? The older sister. Of course, I'd met the older sister the first time when they drove past the road with, with, the, with the uncle. But now I was going to meet, like, in a house and everything. They were going, to, they, like, we were going to go there for, for supper and everything. Okay, fine. So, I mean, I, there I was inside the house. Eh, I, I prepared. I, like, I was looking for things to wear. I, I think I'll insert that picture, like, some me here but it, it wasn't a full picture just took a selfie but i'll insert the picture so there i was i was thinking okay Tabaka, what do you wear and then i asked the guy okay more guy what should i wear more guy was like ah Tabaka, when i just wear anything that you're going to comfort that, that you're going to be comfortable in eh, player in my head guys i'm trying to impress like i'm trying to give them that wow factor go to and they see me they'll be like yeah this girl yeah 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 <laughs> the things that we do guys you know okay, okay. Eh, Okay, so I wore my maroon. Uh, firstly, I wore my maroon two piece, and I was like, no, this thing, uh, uh, it doesn't make sense. It's too tight and it's a bit short. And then I removed it, and then I wore my jean skirt, and I was like, no, a jean skirt is too not form. It's too like informal. You yeah, guys, I spent like thirty minutes looking for an outfit. I just didn't know what to wear, and then finally I decided to wear my maroon dress so it's a maroon dress like it's a sleeveless dress and then i was like okay fine this dress but i can't just like show up with my shoulders just yeah, like out there then i was like okay fine i'm going to wear the maroon dress with a jean with a denim jacket so i ended up wearing a maroon dress with a denim jacket and then i thought to myself should i cover my head i asked the guy my guy should i cover my head and the guy was like ah tabaka when i just do what you comfortable in ah and then i thought to myself if i cover my head like pop. <laughs> So why is she covering her head? Like literally. But then at the end, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should cover my head just to show respect. And I'm thinking, but I guys it was a mess like literally it was a mess i just didn't know what to do because remember i'm trying to put my best foot in front like i want them to see the real taboka and i want to be authentic i want to be real at the same time i do not to come across as being we would see this one actually why didn't you cover your head of course like i knew they're not going to think that né? but i was just guys it's just a mess it was just a mess like everything was just depending in my head i didn't know what to think and and when i ended up doing i'm a pom pom i just tied my head like properly and then like there were two Two pom poms band, bands the side the side the side so yeah and then some more guy and we went we saw the sister that's a story that, that's a story for another day but well we went and we saw them and everything and everything and everything so basically and then when we got them the younger the sister the older sister's daughter she was like yo can't and then she was like yo this is this coming guys i'll never forget it because i was like okay <laughs> okay like okay <laughs> so the other sister's daughter, she was like, How tea? Why are you waiting on Gaga? How, guys? 
<laughs> like it was like it was it was funny but i like the way that they they welcome me because they were welcoming to be honest they were really welcoming and they made me feel at home and i was like okay Tabaka, i really made a good choice just being yourself instead of being overdressed trying to be a, a well trying to impress her are you just like you just did a good choice by being yourself so fine i met the female and i really like them to be honest i really like them and then the third time I had gone to Zimbabwe, right? I'd gone to Zimbabwe and then uh, I'd gone to Zimbabwe and then um, I was on the day when I was leaving, coming to South Africa. That's the day where I was going to go and see the mother. So I'd gone to Zimbabwe alone and the guy had told me that Tabaka, hey, you're going to go and see my mother. And the guy had told the mother that Tabaka is going to come and see you. Yeah. So basically, when I got there, when I got to Zim, right, um, I was supposed to, I was supposed to meet the mother on a Friday, but we got there late. So basically, the deal was, we're going to go and sleep at my mother's house, and then the next day, we're going to go to your uncle's house. And I was like, okay, that's not going to work. Like literally, that's not going to work. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Like literally, I'm scared. So, cause we're going to arrive at night. So, like it was the issue of Uguti since it's at night, probably it's going to be like far going to your uncle's place. You can just go to my mother's house and everything, everything. I I've spoken to her and she's cool with it. Guys, the family, they're so cool. So basically, okay. And then I thought, what should I do? So I was like, okay, I, this, is, this is what is going to happen, guys. Like, literally, this is what is going to happen. I'm going to go to the mother's place if we arrive, at, if, we, if we arrive late. Because the bus driver had said we're going to be there at around 12, 1 in the morning. So I was like, okay, like, I've got no other place. So basically, this is, like, what I'm going to do. Fine. When we got there on Friday, I don't know what happened at the bus excuse me i don't know what happened at the border but instead of getting to zim at 12 1 we ended up getting at zim at 10 it was 10 in the in the morning in the, in the morning so obviously my uncle was able to come and pick me up from bulawayo so my uncle he came and picked me up i went with him and then on monday when i was now coming back to south africa that's when i had to go and meet the the mother yo guys that was a, that, that was also depression on its own now i had to start thinking okay my girl what are you going to wear guys i didn't know what to wear Literally, I didn't know what to wear. And then I had to think, are, are you going to cover your head? Are you not going to cover your head? What are you going to do? Ah, I mean, I ended up wearing this other long dress. It's a blue dress, right? It's a blue dress. It's not sleeveless, by the way. It's a blue dress. And it ends here. And because it was hot in Zim, I wasn't going to wear like a jacket. It wasn't going to make sense. Like, it's hot, guys. And then I thought, am I going to cover my head or what am I going to do? So instead of like covering up the whole head, I took a bandana and I just like tied it up to here. I inserted a picture also of the day when I was going to the the mother's house so basically that's what i did the day of the morning when i took a picture ne? so basically that's what i did i went to the mother's house when i got there guys i was so scared literally i'm going like alone and when i get there i have to say i'm Daboka and i am this one that's what i'm supposed to do when i get there okay fine ah when i got there guys the mother was not there so in the house like there were the, 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 the grandkids two grandkids the mother was not there and disclaimer guys i got lost like literally i got lost because i I've never been to Nkuluman. Like, literally, I've never been to Nkuluman, and that's where the mother stays, right? So, I, but I ended up finding my way. I ended up, ended up finding my way, and I got to the house. Imagine, guys, dedication, seriousness, and focus. I've never been to Nkuluman, but I found my way. I got to the house. I got there. I knocked, and then uh, they opened the door, and then I asked them, hey, only, how are you guys? Where, where, where is your grandmother? And then she was like, ah, she went to visit, but it's, it's okay. We can call her. And then they called her. They told her, ah, granny, there is someone waiting for you. And then she's like, okay, fine, I'm coming. I mean, ah, the grandmother came, guys. When she got inside the house, I was like, oh my goodness, that's not time. That's not time. Yo, guys, I had to introduce myself and say, who to who am I? Ha, I was like, never. Am I going to say I'm, I'm this one's girlfriend? Am I going to say I'm this one's friend? Never. I won't do that. So when I got them, and uh, she greeted me. She's a really lovely. She's a really like lovely lady. When I got there, she greeted me, and then I greeted her back. And then yeah, I was like, okay, I'm Daboka. And then instead of saying Guti, I am this one's girlfriend or I am your son's friend. No, I mentioned the younger sister. I'm like, I am the younger sister's friend. <laughs> Guys, I know it's I know it's weird, but I had no other choice. Like literally, I had no other choice. Yes, she knew that I was coming, but I just didn't know what. How will I say what? I am this one's 
I'm this one's I'm this one's girlfriend or I'm your son's friend. Hi guys, I found it disrespectful, you. And then I was like, hi, I'm the younger sister's friend. Is that what I told them? I'm the younger sister's friend. But obviously she knew the name I knew. Sure. So obviously she knew good. Oh, this one she she she's saying that she's the younger sister's friend while she's my son's girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry to lie, but guys, I had no other option. Like, truly, I was scared. Like, if you're in my shoes, we're just going to, and was part I was going alone. Like, if the sun was there, it was going to make sense. But the sun, I'd left the sun in SA, and like, I had no other choice. So I was like, hi, guys, I mean, I'm there, my sister's friendship. She welcomed me, like, then we started talking. Imagine. And then, I mean, I feel like, guys, I've got this magnet. And then we started talking as if we've known each other for 20 years. We started talking, 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 talking. Like, literally, I became free at that moment. And then we started chatting. We had a conversation. And then after that, they offered me food. Mm, they offered me food. And it had been long ever since I'd ate Amma. Amasi, like not Amasi, but the, 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 like the Masi that they take from guys. Amasi, if you from, if you from, like you know Amasi, like it was not like Nkomasi, but Amasi. So it had been long ever since I ate Amasi. So when they gave me Amasi, guys, I ate the pap and I ate them Amasi. And remember, my bus is leaving at two, and they the worker busy chatting up the storm and busy eating and everything. And then she was like, ah, the problem is that the time that you came, there are no mangoes. If there were mangoes, eh, or if there was, the, I was going to give you, but it's fine and everything. And I was like, no it's no problem it's no problem hey no problem no problem it's fine anyway i'll come next time this is me and next time when i come hopefully the mangoes will be ripe and definitely i would love to to have them because the other mangoes that you sent the other time i also received them i also uh, your, your, your your daughter gave me i'm mentioning like the younger daughter's name your daughter gave me and they were really nice i really enjoyed them dun, 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 dun. and it was like yeah next time when you come share vela you should get you should, you should, you, you, you should definitely come and eat the mangoes. And I'm like, yes, I'm coming for the second type of mangoes. And we said our goodbyes. And then they accompanied me, like, to the bus stop. I was supposed to catch my taxi going to town to take a bus to SA. So, like, on the way, we were busy chatting. And then there is me now opening up and telling you, what, ah, Pella, I got lost. I didn't even know the, because you told me that there is a passage where I'm supposed to pass by. And I didn't even see the passage. And then she's like, hi, yes, next time when you come here, this is how you're supposed to go. It's supposed to actually ask the taxi driver to leave you here and this is the passage and i was like oh okay okay hi next time when i come definitely i won't get closed and when we go to the taxi she was like okay my she was even like carrying my my she was carrying my other bag because i had like two bags so she was carrying the other bag that's how sweet she is and that's how we bonded even if i have to say so myself so yeah she carried my bag and then she left me at the taxi rank okay fine and then I took my text and we said our goodbyes and that was it. Yo, guys, yo, like from all the four encounters of meeting his family, ne, it has never been easy. But I, I, I'm waiting for like a real, real encounter whereby I'm going to meet all of them at once and then it will be me and him and it's going to be like a proper meet up, like a literally proper meet up. And I'm just waiting for that time, that day. When that day, when that day comes, ne, and this, time, this time I've got tips, I've got tips up my, up my sleeves. I'm going to go there rocking a duke and everything and everything. But you guys, hi, it's, it's never easy, trust me. Like, Literally, it's never easy. Like, literally, it's never easy. Like, you'll be thinking a thousand things. What if they don't like me? What if I just, like, what if I say something and I'm just, like, forwardy? What if I say something bad? What if they just don't like my personality? What if I'm too loud? What if I'm too quiet? You know, guys, being a girl is just difficult. It's just difficult, shame. But anyways, <laughs> that, was, that was my experience and that was it. And guys, don't judge me. I had my reasons of doing what I did. And it's fine. And I'm happy with it. And hopefully you enjoyed my story time. And don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to comment. And have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time of your lives. I'm out of here. And bye-bye.